Hello, Mr. Harris here. Today I have an extra special project for you that combines art and science. This interactive Christmas card is sure to light up your holiday season. We will be using the awesome power of circuits to make a card that's sure to knock your parents' socks off. Circuits are used everywhere in our daily lives. They allow us to harness electricity to power useful tools. A circuit is basically a pathway for energy to flow through. In our circuit, energy travels from the negative end of the battery through the circuit and then back into the positive end of the battery. When we put a light in the circuit, the energy also travels through the bulb. If the circuit is broken in any way, the energy will not flow through the circuit and the light will not turn on. Opening and closing the circuit creates a switch. This allows you to control when the light turns on and off. We will use this type of circuit to make our tree light up. We will create a circuit that is not complete until you press the pathway to the battery. So let's get started making our card. The first thing you need to do is get your materials ready. You need the template, an LED light, copper tape, a battery, colored pencils, and a little bit of tape. I have colored the positive wire of the LED light black to help us position the light in the correct direction. I have also bent the wires into a zigzag to make them easier to connect to the circuit. Next, you need to color the card. And don't forget to write a nice message under the words Merry Christmas. Once your picture is colored, you're now ready to make your circuit. The first thing we're gonna do is position your LED light. The light needs to be positioned so energy can flow through the negative wire and out the positive. Place the silver wire pointing to corner two and the black wire pointing to corner four. You are then gonna use copper tape to connect the battery to the light and then back to the battery again. We're gonna start by connecting corner one to corner two. So take out your copper tape and estimate how much you're gonna need, rip it off, and then peel off the little piece of paper on the back and stick it onto the line. You are then gonna connect corner two to the silver wire on the light. So just do the same thing you did for that first strip, but now connecting corner two to the silver wire. Try to cover as much of the silver wire as you can and firmly press the tape against the wire. Now do the same thing connecting the black wire to corner four. Make sure the tape connecting the silver wire is not touching the tape on the black wire. To complete the circuit, we are now going to connect corner four to corner five. But we don't want the tape to stick to the battery, so we're going to fold the tape back onto itself to create a flap. Rip off a piece of tape that goes a little ways past the battery. Peel off the paper and start placing down the extra long piece of tape, starting at corner four. Stop placing the tape when it gets to the black square shown on the pathway. This is the area where we want the tape to be folded. Bend the remaining segment of tape in half, sticking the far end of the tape to the base of the flap. You're now ready to place the battery on the card. Make sure the positive side of the battery is facing up. Now test your circuit. The light should turn on when you press the flap of tape to the battery. If it doesn't work, there are a few potential problems you can check for. First, check if the tape is tightly connected to the ends of the light. Second, are there any breaks in the circuit? Are there any gaps in the tape? Is your battery upside down? Try flipping it over. Once you get your light working, use some tape to strap your battery down, but be careful not to cover up the part where the flap and the battery meet. Now you just need to fold your card. First, we're gonna make a fold on the dotted line so the circuit is inside of the card. Now fold the card along the solid line. The Merry Christmas message and the moon picture should be inside the card and the tree should be on the outside cover. Now you can try out your buttons. You should be able to press the button on the cover and the button on the inside to turn your light on. So that you've made your own LED Christmas card, you're ready to try and make your own design. So you can get creative and try and think of some other cool things you can make light up. I've left a link for a blank template for you to draw on.